Okay, hello, I'm Chini and I'm an incoming second year medical student. So today I'm gonna answer your questions about first year medical school while eating some food. So these are from Baked Manila. So this is the one with the salmon. So we also have the chicken cordon blue and the roast beef. Okay, so first question, rate how challenging first year medical school is, 10 is the highest. I would rate it a uh, 9 because I know second year is harder, so that second year is a 10. So first year is nine. What were your subjects? So my subjects are anatomy, biochemistry, bioethics, family and community medicine, medical informatics, perspectives in medicine, physiology, and psychiatry. So the hardest would probably be, well, for me, biochem. And then on the easier side is psych, because I'm a psych major in college. Also family and community medicine, it can pull up your grade. And how much is your tuition? So for first year in HSI, Ours was, I think, 315,000. And then the other years, it's also more or less 300,000. But you can also apply for scholarships. I'm applying for a scholarship. I don't know if I'll get it, but yeah, it's worth a shot. Books that help you. This one's the roast beef. It has some mushrooms, some sauce. Mmm. Mmm! Let's try the cordon blue. Good! This is the salmon potato bake. Super good. And do I need to memorize or just read it thoroughly? I need to do both. Both are important. I usually use YouTube as my extra resource. How do you stay fit despite your busy schedule? So as a medical student, it's important to stay healthy and fit. So I always try to work out at least three times or four times a week. And then I try to eat healthy, try. Also, I want to share my 24-7 health companion, which is the Real Me Watch 2. But here it says Dare to Leap. This is one type of watch face. This is what I picked. You can pick it on your phone. It's super easy to customize. And yeah, you just download the app on your phone and then connect it to your watch. So the screen is a 1.4 large display. It's pretty big. This has a precise and accurate monitoring of blood, oxygen levels, and heart rate that is comparable to professional measuring equipment. It even has up to 90 kinds of sport modes that can cater to all your activities. And it can also record total exercise time and total calories burned. It also has step monitoring, sleep monitoring, hydration reminders, meditation, heart rate monitor, blood oxygen monitor, water reminder, stand-up reminder, and even breathing exercises. So it really is my everyday fitness companion. It makes my life more convenient and more efficient, especially in terms of my fitness journey. It can also last 12 days without charge, like 12 full days. That's one of my favorite features about it. It lasts for so long. I'll wear it now where you can see what it looks like. Oh, you can also, you can buy this in Shopee and Lazada. And there's an upcoming 7-7 sale. That's July 7, so make sure to check that out. I'll put links down below. It's gonna be discounted. Look, doesn't it look super nice? Boom. And it's easy to navigate. You just swipe, swipe up, swipe down. Then right now, the temperature is 32 degrees. Yeah, it's 76% now, and I haven't charged it in like four days. And then, oh, this one also. This is the charger. So it's just like this. It's under the watch. Parang magnet siya. Yep. And what could have happened if you spent your first year in medical school face to face? So we would have had the cadaver, a real person's body, and then we're gonna dissect and all. Our exams would have been in classrooms, paper and pen. But for lab, the mga slides, histology yeah. slides, they really do it in the computer. So that was kind of the same lang in online setting. Do you stress eat? How do you avoid it? I used to order grab food like, almost every day, but then I stopped because I, I realized I was spending so much. When I stopped ordering grab food, I stopped. I kind of stopped stress eating. I don't know how to avoid it though. Give me some tips. Comment down below if you have some tips on how to not stress eat. Tips on how to study consistently. What I do is I put my schedule in a Google Calendar, my Google Calendar, and then I color code it so I know like, I have to do this 
on this certain day and then I really have to finish that. If I don't finish it, then I have to fix my schedule again. It's just easy if you can see all your tasks in a monthly calendar. Also, a to-do list is really helpful. My essentials during studying, iPad, my laptop, my book, my highlighters. That's all I can think of, so I guess those are my essentials. Do you have quizzes every day? We have evals after each module, which is long exams, mga 120 items. During our asynchronous sessions, which is like during the study period, we have simple tasks, which are quizzes. There's a deadline, so it's not every day. Naman. And then we also have final. And then we have complex tasks, which are cases that we have to answer by group. And then the day before the evals, that's when we have a video call with our group mates. And then professors ask us questions and stuff. How do you optimize retention of concepts? I use Anki. I always show that in my videos. It's a flashcard application. You can download it on your computer, laptop, iPad, phone. You have to pay for it if you download it on your iPad and iPhone. But on the computer and laptop, it's free. I usually make my own flashcards. Do pre-med courses really matter in medical school? I think if you take like BS Biology, BS physics, um, PT, nursing, medtech, I think you have a slightly higher advantage because you have a better background in, in the basic subjects. So for me, I was psych, so I had an advantage in psychiatry subject. For BS Psychology, we also had an ano, like anatomy, biochem, physiology, so we also had a little background on those. But the other courses I mentioned, they had a deeper background. That makes sense. Any things you wish you knew before starting med school? So the first one I can think of is Anki because I started Anki I think late first sem. I wish I knew about Anki but like right when I started um, med school because it's really helpful. Anatomy or physiology? I like anatomy more because it's more straight to the point, memorization-ish. Physiology is harder to conceptualize. Were you able to have 8 hours of sleep every day? The first few months, no. Because I was like, ooh, I have to study till 4 a.m. and on. And then I realized after that, I don't really need to stay up till 4 a.m. But I probably had like 7 hours of sleep every day. And then at least this mga 4 hours. And that's the day before the exam. But towards the end, I just slept, yeah, slept 8 hours a day. How do you handle burnout? How do I handle burnout? So I take a break, work out. I think that helps. I think working out really helps you even like a 10 minute workout. I think vlogging also helps me with my, like not burn out as often because it's something not related to medical school. Yeah, just do something other than medical school in your free time. When you have low scores, how do you overcome it? At first, I sleep. <laughs> And then I usually, because we have to take track of our grades for each quiz, evals. I try to look at my previous scores so I know if I have to catch up, if I have to get like higher in my next exam, or if kaya naman, like that. How do you manage your time? Like I said, I have a to-do list, I use Google Calendar. The day before, I already plan what I'm gonna do that day. How to take notes? I usually just take notes during our synchronous sessions. I usually use my iPad, but then if it's more fast-paced, I use my laptop and then type na lang. Study alone or by group? I think I'm more of a study alone kind of person, especially during the pandemic because I think it's gonna be awkward if we study on call. So, study alone, but probably when we're face-to-face, -face, I'll study by group because you can also learn from your group mates and they can learn from you. I also learn when I when someone corrects me or when they ask me a question and I know it. And it's good for your attention. How do I memorize? First, highlighting helps me for sure because I can't just look at the blank black and white paper and then also pictures help diagrams videos for sure YouTube videos Ninja Nerd Catalyst University Khan Academy Osmosis The Organic Chemistry Tutor AK Lectures yeah AK Lectures is super useful for biochemistry Armando Hasudungan his illustrations are super nice Med Simplified, Noted Anatomist, Anatomy Zone, Share Some of Your Mnemonics, Private Tim Hall, Sad Pucker, Tired for the Symptoms of Hypoglycemia. What motivates you to study? Food. <laughs> you have to think about the future. Like, if you don't study now, you have to catch up. What would you advise to students who have short attention and concentration span, which is, I think, me? 
I think the Pomodoro technique is very helpful if you have a short attention span because it gives you a goal and then it gives you a break and you just, it's easier if you're following a schedule. You just really have to have a timer. Timer really helps and then do this and Google Calendar. I'm always just gonna say that. What year is the hardest in med school? Everyone says second year. So that's I'm an upcoming second year, so good luck to me! Do you have to be good at math? You have to memorize the equation. Not it's not stoichiometry or because it's not like intense math. <laughs> Did I make friends even if it was online setting? Yes, because my group mates are super they're super nice, they're talkative, they're helpful. Shout out to 13B! And I also had Gia, which is one of my closest friends. She was also my group mate. We were in Zabel together, we were in TAF together, same course, same block, and then now we're group mates in med school. But for second year, it's gonna be a different group. Sad. Okay, I'm gonna answer more questions because I don't think I answered everything. Did I ever cry? Yes, I did. I showed it in some of my vlogs, I think, that I was crying because of the stress. I don't think you can avoid it. And I'm just an emotional person. <laughs> Do you still have time to go out for like long periods of time? The first few months I didn't really go out because I was like I have to get like I don't want to fail anything. But after a while I realized that failing is okay. You just have to make bow it. Maybe like if maybe you can allot one day every two or three weeks to go out. Like that whole day you won't study, just go out. Rather than like every day I have like a five hour break, no. But some, there are some days I have 5 hour breaks because I'm lazy. But yeah, the best thing to do in my opinion is to allot a day every 2-3 to three weeks for just leisure, resting, Netflix, and on. Tips for studying biochem. Just chaga. Biochem isn't for me. <laughs> so I don't know, I just can't give you tips. Comment down below and your tips. <laughs> hi Clay! Oh. <laughs> Hello! Say hi to them! Say hi! Oh, he wants to play. Go. But yeah, okay, I think that's it for all the questions. If you have more questions, just comment down below. I'll try to answer them. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Yep. Okay, bye!